What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Soul Blazer. Today, I have returned to Dr. Leo's laboratory because it occurred to me that there's something here that I forgot to get. Now, I don't think they ever give you any inclination of how you're actually supposed to get it. And I even knew how to get it, and I forgot. So, it's, uh pretty devious. Basically, you just push this thing to the left. It's not even like it, like, it takes a while for you to even be able to push it. It's not like you bump up against it and you push the thing immediately. But anyways, that's where you get Master's Emblem G. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of the eight emblems required. So, we're getting pretty close. And for that matter, we have two of the three, uh, Phoenix thing of a bobbers uh, of the red hot objects. So, anyways, now that we got that, let's return to Magrid Castle. I like how the background color of the shrines changes depending on which place you're in. That's a nice little touch. So, let's see what we got here in Magrid Castle. Nothing over there. Uh, up here. We got a couple of soldiers, or at least, oh really? What's the point of unlocking two people who say the exact same thing? Doesn't look like much of a castle right now, does it? Uh, nothing down here. I'll go in there in a moment. Let's talk to you. Oh. So, uh, he knows Goaty, who's that dude in, uh, Greenwood or whatever it's called. This guy's asleep. I guess that's why he looks like he's unconscious. So let's use the Dream Rod. Oh, another scene of, uh, Dr. Leo. Well, that's kind of what's going to happen. I do like the the kind of tone of like that they have here. It's like a almost like a cautionary tale of like don't rely too heavily on technology. Which is kind of an odd thing to be portraying through like a YouTube video, but whatever. Jeez, they just throw armor at you, don't they? But that's okay by me, because now I have the elemental... Elemental mail. Not the element mail. And, uh, that protects me from danger zones. Which will be... Helpful. So anyways, we got... This dude here... What are you doing? Oh. Guarding the castle, okay. Okay, well, there's a bard there who needs a harp string. Uh, we have a harp string, but I'm not gonna give it to him quite yet, because I think it, uh, it works better if I hold on to it for just a little longer. For, uh, to increase the, the drama, so to speak. Because if I just give it to him right now, then... Actually, I... Come to think of it, if I give it to him right now, I don't know if it even does what it needs to do. It, it all makes sense if I wait a little bit. Let's just put it that way. So, anyways. we got to make our way back through the first and second floors of the torture chamber. And if I didn't mention it, the, that little area, hidden area that's just down there... Uh, of course, you have to access it from the other side, but uh, in, that, in that area, uh, we do eventually get a way to 
like see the hidden passage that leads up there. It's just that there's nothing stopping you from going there if you already happen to know that it's there. So you might as well then. It's another little hidden area right there that just leads through there, but uh, there's not really a whole lot of point going through there, is there? There, 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 there. Stupid freaking ghost. Does this thing... I want to see if the spears actually hurt me with the element mail, but the stupid ghosts just won't freaking leave me alone. Guess I gotta kill all the ghosts. Okay, so the spears definitely do still hurt. Okay. We released a maid. It's actually kind of sad, but like very few of the monster layers that you or uh, souls that you release in this place actually do anything for you. So these spikes don't hurt me, so that's what the elemental mail does. And also there's uh, another hidden chest right about here. And that gives me the Emblem B. Which... No, not magic. Which means that I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And all I'm missing is Emblem H. And then I can get free magic forever! If I want. Well, that was an easy monster lair. Haha, <laughs> your spikes don't hurt me! Navigating this room can actually be kind of annoying if you actually get hit by spikes, but... I'm just too good for for spikes or something like that. Stupid ghosts. Well, they're dead now, so I guess that's all good. A little shortcut back because this is in fact two floors down, so it's not uh, unreasonable to think that you might want to make your way back to town at this point. Of course, I've divided up my adventures so that I could go and do other things in the meantime. It's perfectly possible to just do this whole torture chamber in one go, but... Which is kind of strange, because in every other area of the game, that's kind of been what I've done, but... Here, for whatever reason, I just decided not to. Well, whatever. It works. It's kind of funny, because the uh, Magrid's castle is actually kind of short compared to... Like, it's not a short area, but compared to Dr. Leo's laboratory, it's... At least feels like it's a lot shorter. I mean, in Leo's laboratory, you have the basement, you have the basement 2, you have the model castle, you have the model castle 2, and then you have the power plant. That's a lot of areas. Get back here. So we're just about done with the torture chamber here. There we unlock another singer. And I believe, uh, yeah, 220,000 experience is when I level up again. Get back here, you stupid floaty orb. Ah, there you go. Open that up. Gotta kill me some... Why are you going over that way? Kill me some snakes. More stupid floaty balls. Okay. Unlock this one. The heck? Where's that? The left tower, huh? I guess I'll have to check that out. Head up here. Oh god, two floaty balls at once. Die! Die, Heathens! Well, that wasn't too bad. And this unlocks... I guess that would be the left tower, huh? And this... lets us go forward. So, uh, I guess I might as well take a, at least a little bit of a peek about town. 
So, uh, one thing I wanted to do was... If I talk to this dude... That statement's a little bit confusing, but basically the idea there is it's that's supposed to be your hint about um, how you get the harp string. There's the one skeleton in the first uh, dungeon of the torture chamber where this, uh, the, the one skeleton is holding the harp string. That's supposed to be that guy's friend. So there's a maid in here who's not doing anything. Uh, no, it doesn't look like you're taking care of much of anything right now. There's this soldier in here. I believe this is the guy who uh, couldn't be released er earlier. I don't think he actually gets released until you uh, release the second bard guy in the corner there. So, the guard is standing on it. So, what we gotta do is we gotta give this guy the harp string. No, I don't care about your stupid frickin' story. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. Stop talking and start playing. So this guy starts playing some music. The guard moves to the front row. This really doesn't sound much like a love song, does it? And we get a card. Now, if we equip that card, what's it called? The Platinum card? It seems a little bit odd to have a Platinum card for a me medieval town, but, you know, whatever. But anyways, we take that card, and we can show it to this dude. And he lets us inside the left tower, which we will explore next time on Let's Play Soul Blazer. Catch you later.